The tamal is a traditional Mesoamerican dish that is made of masa, a starchy dough, usually corn-based, that is then wrapped and steamed in a corn husk or banana leaf. The tamal can be filled with anything you desire, from meats, cheeses, veggies, fruits, and even chilies. Tamal is derived from the word tamali, from the Nahuatl language spoken by the Aztecs. The word means wrapped food. They originated in Mesoamerica as early as 8,000 to 5,000 BC, where the Aztecs and Mayan civilization used tamales as portable food, often to support their armies, but also for hunters and travelers. Tamales have always been loved by all Hispanics, but since the 1900s, they have become popular amongst all cultures. They're right up there with sushi and dim sum. Tamales are used for special occasions, like New Year's, the Day of the Dead, and Christmas. Today we're going to visit Mexico, Colombia, Nicaragua, and Cuba. Let's have some tamales. In Mexico, tamales begin with a dough made from corn called masa. They are then wrapped in corn husks or banana leaves before cooking, depending on the region they're from. They are then steamed until firm, and they're filled with a savory or sweet filling. Few countries have such an extensive variety of tamales as Mexico, where they're considered one of the most beloved traditional foods in the country. Almost every state and region in Mexico has its own kind of tamal. It is said that there are between 500 to 1,000 different types of tamales all over the country. The annual consumption of tamales, experts estimate hundreds of millions a year. Tamales became one of the representatives of Mexican culinary tradition in Europe, being one of the first samples of culture the Spanish conquistadores brought back to Spain as proof of civilization. Now tamales are used on special occasions, like Christmas Day, the Day of the Dead, and Mexican Independence Day. Today we're at Magali's to try some authentic Mexican tamales. Hey Magali, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Who is everyone here in the kitchen? Well, today we've got Dorina and we have Lorena. Okay, well I am so excited to be here. Nice to meet you guys. We want to know, or I want to know, the process of how to make a tamal. Well, okay. let me tell you. First we start by making our masa. Our masa consists of corn, uh, lime, and water. We bring that to a boil. We put it through the grinder. We grind it and that gives us our mix which is our masa. And to this masa, of course, we add different ingredients. And that's what makes our masa and sets our masa apart. What's, for many what, what is it that's different from other? Well, first of all, we don't use lard. <gasps> we don't use that's lard great. in our tamales, yeah. So we try to always go with um, a healthier alternative. We know that a lot of people are um, vegan. vegan and they're allergic to a lot of things. So Good. we don't use lard in our masa. Second of all, our corn that we purchase is uh, non-GMO corn. So that is another big thing because we know a lot of people um, are looking always for a healthier alternative. That's amazing. So, um, and then into our masa, we put a few of our secret ingredients. And, um, but we use, there's, uh, there's actually no flour in it either. So they're gluten free. Oh my so gosh. So anybody can, that has an allergy I was going to ask if they're vegan tamales, but well, you guys already free. Now, of course, the vegan tamales, we do make a vegan tamal, which is our vegetable um, tamal. And then we make our vegetarian options, which is our chili and cheese. Yum. And the pineapple one is also considered a um, vegetarian option because there is no lard, there is no animal product, and there is no dairy in wow. it as well. So, um, and so yeah, so we make different types of tamales here. So why does it take so long to make the masa? Is well, it, it's it a very so labor intensive um, process, uh, tamales. It's not just a matter of, you know, you just get something and you put it together. I mean, it starts with cooking the corn, then we have to grind it. Then we've got to make our actual masa. And then prior to that, you've got to remember, we have to cook all of our meats. So we make um, eight different flavors. We make chicken, pork, beef, cheese, wow. sweet corn, pineapple, vegetable, and a ground beef and jalapeno. And what's the most popular one? The most popular would be a chicken. The chicken. Yeah, so chicken, this one right here. Chicken right here is one of the most popular, and our sweet corn. And That's what do you guys definitely. have in the chicken? Is it just shredded beef? It's shredded chicken with uh, green tomatillo sauce. And is, oh, so this is the secret sauce. That's the secret sauce right there. And so have you always been eating tamales your whole life? Yeah, we grew up eating tamales during Christmas, during special occasions. That was one of the most and important things. And this is, Magali's is your restaurant. You yes. decided to make tamales. Yes. So, so you love tamales. I love tamales. My kids love tamales. So Everybody loves tamales. Everybody loves tamales. So that's it. You put the masa, then yes. you put the chicken, and you put the sauce, yes. and then you fold it in the and corn. And you fold it. And what and region is this tamale from? This is from Jalisco, Mexico. Jalisco, Mexico. Yes. That's where you're from. Yes, that's from where my parents are from. Jalisco and Zacatecas. And do you guys have this on a daily basis or just special occasions? No, we do tamales. For, do we eat them, you mean, or do we uh, make you them? No, make well, we eat them all the time. Now, especially being that we produce them, this is something that 
We have, our kids have them for lunch, they have them for breakfast, we have them for dinner. So yeah, it's a constant thing. And how many tamales do you make per day? We make right now in our slow season, we make about 1,200. You know, and a day, a day, yes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we make about That's twelve hundred. crazy. And then during Christmas, we make five, six, seven thousand. So it just depends on the day and how much work we've got to, you know, how many orders we've got to fill. That is incredible. Yeah. So then after this, you guys put it in a, the oven, or where do you guys? Put no, it? we put them into pots, and we have the pots that are right here. This is where Juan's gonna come in. Juan, Juan. how about you put up, uh, line them up for us? It's very important when we're lining the tamales up. They've got to all stand up. And they've got to be nicely, nice and tight. If you don't put them in nicely, nice and tight, the tamales, as they're cooking, because they start to expand, mm -hmm. they will actually fall apart or they'll oh, open wow. up. It looks really simple, but believe it or not, no, even no. to stand them up, yeah. it's a trick. Because if you don't stand them up correctly, they start falling apart, they start tilting over. So Juan's got plenty of years of experience. And the corn husks have no, no sauces or anything around it, it's just the corn husks. Yeah, it's just the corn husks, that's all it is. We get, like I said, the corn, take it up right off of the pot. Now this is what gets it into it. So oven. now, once the, the pot is full, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to our stock pot where we've got the bottom part of this pot, which is full of water, and that water is what's gonna steam our tamales. <gasps> so you can see we've got water in this pot already, ready wow. to go. Oh, so it just sits on top We just water. sit it right on top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a time, the time that we actually saw, set this pot down. So as you can see, these pots here already have, it's got the kind of tamal that is sitting inside of it and the time that we set it on the um, oh, stove. Already done right. And so how long does it take to steam An on? hour and a half. So an after an hour and a half, whoa, are these These are cooked? already done and ready to go. This is already the cooked ones. These are, for example, carne molida, which is our ground beef and that jalapeno. Looks so good. Yeah. I'm so excited right now to try these tamales. I brought you one of our specialties here. Oh. This is a plate my. that I actually created, and I figured, you know what? People go over into um, all these different places and they have bowls. I said, well, amazing. why not have a tamale bowl? We have a chicken bowl, a carne asada bowl. I said, why not a tamale bowl? So that's one of my creations, so I hope you enjoy it. This looks incredible. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Enjoy. I don't even know, know what where to think. start. Okay, and that's some, some sauce to go with it. So you put the salsa before? Yep. And just enjoy it. Now that is mouth-watering delicious. Well, awesome. I'm oh my happy God. that you like it. The masa is so soft. And yeah. Just melts in your mouth, and then I like the contrast with the lettuce. It's yeah. like crunchy. It's crunchy. It's yeah. like refreshing. Yep. And so this way, it's like when you're in the mood. You know, tamales is a comfort food. Oh my gosh. So because it is a comfort food, um, you know, a lot of people like to eat it during the winter. But now you can actually eat it also during the summer with some lettuce, a better lettuce, some rice, some beans. You've got it all in one. Mm. One of the best tamales. Of, I mean, maybe the best tamale I've had in my life. Oh, good. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Magalis, don't forget it. You're gonna want to try this because. If not, I'm gonna eat them all. <laughs>